Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. In today's video we've got this hot point, well obviously the rub writing's rubbed off from where the hot point logo used to be. It's an Aquarius WMA32. This machine's got a bit of a backstory to it on how I got it, but I'm not explaining in this video because it'd be 10 minutes before we even start the video if I explain it here. So if you want to know the old backstory of this machine, then go and see the community post that I've posted of this machine. It explains it all there, what on how I even got this machine and how word got to me about it. As you can see, all well, the writing's rubbed off. It's in pretty poor condition for what it is, unfortunately. Um, it's got rust there, and there is a tiny bit of rust going along here. The side panels aren't actually too rusty. They're pretty good. The back's quite good as well. It ain't rusted. Um, but if we open the door, there's a tiny bit of rust there, but that's not too bad. But if we give the drum a spin... You can hear the motor bearings aren't the healthiest on this. Um, I have given this a bit of a spin already and the bearings do sound a bit naff on it as well. But the thing is as well, I reckon this drum has been replaced before because there's no holes, uh, the holes aren't drilled out at the back and it's got the uh, newest old paddles. As If you remember my WMA30 had big holes on the um, third hole in, but this one doesn't and it does have evidence of it being a replacement drum. So this has already had new bearings, but by the sounds of it, uh, it needs new bearings again, and you'll hear that in the video when it starts to spin. You can also see the door glass is, it's been absolutely hammered. <laughs> I haven't even done any washing in this yet, and it's done that, so we're clearly in for a treat um, from when we, um, you know, use it. And I'll just quickly add, actually, whilst we're talking about these gash marks, the shock absorbers have been replaced on this machine. I'm not even joking either, the drum is, you know, it's fine. It don't bounce up and down like, you know, when the shock absorbers go on a washing machine. It just uh, seems to go side to side quite a lot, so that's probably why the glass is so bad. But it has had new shocks, and it's I think it's also had a new PCB. As when, you, uh, when I put this on a spin in a minute, you'll see it isn't actually the original spin pan. It does the, um, I think it does the same as the first edition FEW12 that I've got, I'm pretty sure. Um, well, we'll find out when I actually fully test it. Um, but yeah, so it's it's a shame really because I was hoping it was actually going to have the original the original um, programming as it would have been nice, but it don't matter. Um, like I say, the rust it is rusty under here, but it isn't the worst. This is what I mean. It's rusty in areas where it isn't. Too, it is. It's not good, but it could be worse. That's how I'm kind of going to see it. If it weren't for this, or this rubbed off, it probably wouldn't be too bad at all. But the plan for this machine is to convert it into a WMA58, because I do actually have a silver fascia, a WMA58 fascia for one of these. Um, I'm going to have to obviously change the door, but I've got a plan on spray painting my spare WMA5X series door, as it's yellowed anyways, and it, you know I, don't, I would never use it again. So what I'm going to do is probably spray paint it this colour, if I can get this colour, or spray painted black you know just so it will kind of go with the whole zircon silver or whatever it's called color <sighs> what a mouthful um i think without further ado we'll put it on a fast spin see how it sounds and we'll go from there let me get you on the tripod so let's turn it to fast spin then fast spin final spin lights on 1200 let's go I think I'm going to have to give the door a bit of a slap, as I did last time. Yep, I'm going to have to. There we go, it's locked. Alright, let's see how much noise this is going to make then. It probably isn't a really good idea to do this now because it is um, getting on to be, I think, seven o'clock right now, at, you know, evening time. So, but yeah, I mean, at least it's at nine o'clock because, well, it will be waking up the whole neighborhood then. But 
Yeah, I might only go and do a spin tonight, then I'll probably do a full test on it tomorrow. At the moment it does sound quite smooth, surprisingly, but obviously when this gets into spin it will get quite loud. Best to turn your volume down. <laughs> I think it's going to get quite loud. Just a little bit of a warning for headphone users.
well, best way to put it, I think it's a bit ruined. <laughs> if it isn't a broken spider, it's broken bearings, isn't it? It's a shame, really, because in reality, it has got a lot of work that does need to be done to it, but I have got the parts, if that makes sense, so it's not going to really cost me too much, but the things that I will have to buy is a new motor and bearings. But it's, you know, it breaks your heart, really, because you... Oh, the door's already unlocked. That was quite quick. Um... It breaks your heart really because you don't know if it's really worth it, well it isn't worth the money to be you know spent on but you know what i'm like with these older hot points i do quite like keeping them running oh i don't know really it's a bit of a pickle really that i'm in with this one i like it i want to keep it and i want to make it into a wma 58 but you know in reality is it really worth it is what i'm thinking but I just don't know. I just really don't know this one. It's a shame, really, because out of all the WMAs I think I've probably got recently, and or, or owned in general, this one's by far in the worst condition. I've never had a WMA in this bad condition before. You know, don't get me really wrong, my WMA 64, that has a lot of rust on it, but this one's got more rust around the front, but this one, my WMA 64's got more rust like, around the sides of it. So, in reality... I'd say this one's in the cabinet wise is probably in the same condition as the WMA 64 but you know the whole fascia that's just not it's just not it <laughs> but maybe when I change the fascia and change the door and all that maybe it might change my mind you know maybe I've got to try that first and I'll go from there and if I like it and I think it's worth doing then I'll do it but if I think nah I'll find something else then so be it but then I don't really want to scrap something like this because you know these are quite nice machines and it's best to keep these ones going up and instead of the you know the um, modern ones that they've got on the market at the moment don't get me wrong i like the design of them but you know the program is atrocious on atrocious on these um new ones they've got uh on the market at the moment these e eco 4 e60 ones you know what i think we'll leave it here for now and we'll come back to it and we'll see where we get with it because there's no point overthinking about it so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one